What's up you guys? Welcome to today's video. In this video I've got a Nikki V try on even though all my stuff is not here. I have got a workout and then I've also got a couple of announcements just like housekeeping things or whatever. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What is going on you guys? So as you can see, I got my extensions taken out. I got them taken out yesterday. And honestly, it's crazy to me that I had in, these extensions were like, you can see they're like very, very blonde with like some brunette pieces, but like my hair, I mean, then again, it just, it looks a little different in like every lighting. Like on top it looks pretty light, but obviously like underneath I'm brunette and very dark. So it like, it's just weird right now, and when you get extensions out, your hair, like, your hair naturally sheds over, you know, the course of time every single day, but when you have extensions in and you have a bead attached to your head, it doesn't really allow that hair to shed, so then it all kind of sheds at once and your hair feels a little bit thin. It just feels kind of, like, brittle right now, but that's because I haven't been using the same products. Like, I was out of all my extensions products, and so... These are the products I usually use when I don't have extensions, like to take care of my hair and make it look less stringy. I use the It's a 10, but I don't use this when I have extensions. Um, and I also use purple shampoo when I don't have extensions, but this is not sulfate free, I think. So I can't use that when I have extensions, I have to use a purple conditioner instead. And then I also got a reconstructive conditioner. All the bedhead stuff at Ulta was $10, so that's why I got it. Um, but anyway, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Okay, bud. Also, a couple big announcements. I will sit down just because I'm my arm's going to get tired. Um, I'm just going to really apologize if I'm like playing with my hair. I just feel like it doesn't look that bad in person and then on camera I feel really self-conscious. Um, but Macy and I launched a 12-week Find Your Fit challenge. I will put the email for that in the description box below. Registration is open until Sunday night. So by the time this video goes up, registration is only open for a couple more days. And it is limited spots. It's $100 for 12 weeks. You get customized macros. You get a 12-week training plan that changes every two weeks. It's got adjusted cardio. There's five workouts every single week. Um, along with cardio in there. There's a Facebook group for support. There's weekly check-ins in that Facebook group. Macy and I have talked about doing a, or we're going to be doing a weekly um, Facebook Live with the group as well. That way we can answer you guys' questions. It'll just be like, and you know, 30 minutes to an hour on like a Sunday night type of thing. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. We also send you like an example um, day of eating for like specific macros so we assign everybody macros and then we give you an example day of eating for like how to fill those macros not for yours but for a random group of macros so that you kind of know how to do that so if that's something you guys are interested in but you haven't been able to really pull the trigger on online coaching because obviously one-on-one -on -one is more expensive um, because you're getting one-on-one -on -one attention but the group mentality $100 for 12 weeks is a really 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 good deal that's like $30 a month for this type of attention which is phenomenal so again that email is in the description box below it's Macy Kylie find your fit at gmail.com so if you have questions just email that email all the information's on my Instagram but anyway I need to charge my camera so I can go to the gym and I will catch you guys in the next clip all right, you guys, welcome to today's workout. If you're wondering, yes, this is one of the Nikki B bras. I already wore it with the leggings like earlier this week, so that's why I was wearing it with my Lululemon leggings. Um, but I actually started off with this tri set of cable pullovers, um, face pulls, and tri set press downs. Um, I really just like to get in there and get going, and I like being able to use one piece of equipment to get in a lot of volume so that's why I did this tri set. I'm usually a super set kind of person or just not at all but it's nice to just knock out a tri set and knock out three exercises right away and holy crap my hair absolutely drives me nuts. I What I wouldn't give for like my front bangs to just be able to go back into my ponytail like it actually just drives me freaking nuts to look at that and look how like choppy my hair looks right now. 
Um, but anyway, not important. So here you can tell that my goal is literally to just pull heavy weight. I did do three sets of 50 pounds and then I just hop hopped up to 70 because um, I was really just feeling the beat of my music. So obviously I'm kind of rocking um, pretty aggressively or like, you know, rowing myself back and moving my back more than I should when you really want to try to keep your upper body your core very stationary, but I really was just focusing on pulling the weight. Um, and then I did some lat pull downs. Um, yeah, that's all that really all is to it. Um, here you can tell I'm obviously trying to pull weight too because I am aggressively moving my upper body more so than I normally would. Everything that I'm doing, uh, roughly three sets of 12-ish reps. For this workout, I was really just trying to push weight as much as I could because I don't tend to do that. Um, I also did a uh, shoulder press at the end of my workout. Normally, I like to do these in the beginning because it's a more difficult movement for me and I like to be able to push heavier weight and you can tell I was kind of tired because I was shoulder pressing like 25 pounds. Um, and then also burned out with some curls. With curls, I do five sets of 10. I can't really do more than 10 reps when I'm doing curls. My biceps tend to be very weak even though they look kind of strong like relatively I feel like my delts just take over anyway that's beside the point point. Um, and then I also burned out with lateral raises so yeah when I burn out with these I do about five sets of 20 15 15 12 and then till failure so I hope you guys enjoyed the workout Okay, so I'm just going to do this really casually, not like I've been doing try-on videos recently where I've done like a voiceover. So I'm going to talk to you just about what each item is, what how I feel about it, all that shit. So this is a sports bra, super booby, obviously. This is the extra small, it's like the only sports bra that they came out with. I don't know the name of it, but if you go to the Nikki V collection and look at the sports bra, this is that one. It's like the coral whatever color, and then I've got on the dynamic leggings with it which I think are pretty cute. Um, it's got like a little bit of mesh down the side and then a small pocket, but nothing really can like fit in there. I don't, I mean, other than like maybe a key, but I feel like it would fall out. And then it does say Nikki B like in the back right here and the bra is nice and cute in the back. Probably my favorite feature of the collection is the sports bra. I feel like it's super flattering. Um, so yeah, that's, the look and then I'll go ahead and talk to you guys about how I feel about each thing so I am very typically a extra small in Gymshark I have been an extra small in the flex, le flex leggings in the fit leggings in um, a seamless shirt that I have in tank tops that I have although this is my actual first Gymshark bra so I can't say um, that I'm always been an extra small in bra so I'm not sure there but it is very 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 tight on me sorry my hair is like driving me crazy after taking my extensions out the bra is so tight on me that like when I like if I were to move I mean it's not as obvious now but like it really pushes out like I'm a pretty lean individual and it like I don't like that it does that and then so I feel like I could have sized up but I didn't I don't know if I just didn't watch the right sizing videos but I feel like I didn't know to size up and I don't know that it would make me as booby. I like the amount of boobiness because I have my, I'm an A cup, I'm small, so any bra that makes me look a little more full is nice. But I will say that the leggings are too loose on me. These are an extra small, but there is just, there is not enough hug right here. There's not enough support. And this part in the back from like here up, it's just too much material. My pants go up. Like if I'm wearing them comfortably, if I were to do like what I wanted, they go up like higher than the bra. So I do like the fit from the front and the style from the front and how they look. But in terms of the fit of the pants, if you're an extra small and all the other pants, like these might be too big for you. I've worn this bra with other leggings and it looks really cute. Um, but again, it's still a little bit on the tight side. I'm going to wear it because I freaking love how it looks. But in terms of like it fitting 100% how I would want it to, it doesn't. But it does the job. I think it's really, really cute. So yeah. Okay, so now I've got on the black set and I put on the black bra right after the red one. And I will say, I don't know what it is, but this one doesn't feel as tight right here on this band. This band is like super, super freaking thick, but I wore that one twice. So if anything, like the red one would be a little bit more stretched out, but it's not. Um, 
I forgot to also mention how like buttery soft the material is like the sports bra is really soft the leggings are really soft like the material is a very 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 high quality they are definitely squat proof but anyway same um, overall feelings on on this set I do feel like it fits me a little bit snugger in the waist I don't know what it is but the fit feels a little bit tighter um, maybe it's just because it's black and like I don't know it just I have things like pulled up differently but I will say that if you're looking for a pair of leggings to like make your booty look better give it more shape whatever these are not the leggings for you um, I have been lifting for a long time and I feel like my butt has a shape to it already and I don't feel like I need a lot of extra help from leggings to make me feel confident about my shape um, but if you're someone that, like you really really want the leggings to shape you like the seamless leggings really hug in your waist and like make your butt look bigger or the flex leggings make your butt look bigger these are not the leggings for you you kind of already need to feel like pretty comfortable about about how you like how your shape looks if that makes sense um so hopefully this was helpful to you guys i am still waiting on the pineapple bra which is basically just the same bra and then um the drop back crop top that has like this open back and it is like the nude color so hopefully you guys enjoyed this and enjoyed the video and i will catch you in the next clip okay so same spot as my outro don't hate me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, the challenge for Macy and I that we're doing the 12 week challenge, that is open until Sunday night. So this Sunday, the 4th at, today's the second, right? Yeah. Um, Sunday the 4th at 6 p.m. Eastern. So whatever your time zone is. I mean, obviously like if you're like an hour off, it's fine. But just think in your head like 6 p.m. Um, on Sunday is the cutoff just because we do have to do everyone's plans to be able to start Monday and so um, we don't want to have to pull an all-nighter on Sunday night but there is obviously the potential for that if we get a shit ton of people um, like later in the evening on Sunday because we want to make sure that everyone has their plan for first thing Monday morning um, so yeah hopefully you guys um, enjoy this video and if you did give it a thumbs up I know I already said that I might have said that like 17 times in this video but anyway I'm gonna go and take Bruce to the duck park and I will catch you guys in the next one bye guys